Long ago, the world of order was created by God, and his servants, the angels, led it on its proper course. It was in such a world that countless mortals led happy, fruitful, and prosperous lives by His grace. However, even God's world is not eternal. The pure, unsullied path that God had forged will, as fate dictates, become a muddled, poisonous swamp at the hands of humankind. Disrupted order begets chaos, and chaos will likewise be consumed by order in turn. How will these keepers of knowledge strive and perish during their final futile hours in this doomed world? Let us watch them at our leisure until the new ruler is seated upon the throne. What is this? A passing soul? This is a path linked to the future. The choices you make will affect the very course of the world. Stay your hand now. The soul of that girl cannot be permitted to exist. By her very nature, she will lead the world into chaos and ruin. She must remain sealed here for all eternity. To take the girl from this place will lead not to the future destined for this world, but to a world yet unknown. Knowing only this, will you still take her hand? You have chosen well. That girl's soul cannot be permitted to exist. As long as she remains bound to this place, the world shall be guided to its destined future. All right, listen up. Everyone should have their own personal tablets now, but it sounds like some of you still need to get them registered. Those temp accounts are about to expire. So anyone who's been putting it off, better get on that. One other thing. It's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system. Go back to the dorm in groups. That's it for homeroom. Thank you, sir.
there. Uh. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Huh? Well, Hey. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Everything all right? Hey, you heading back alone? You heard that talk about it being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. I mean, not really. They've met in passing. I think Miyazu and I ran into him a couple times. Yato, something like that. Aww, you're lucky your big brother looks out for you so much, huh? Um, I guess. We're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. Sure, sure. So, how about we all walk home together? you wanted to talk about something? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. I keep hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kinda getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense, since... Something going on? Looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. A moment. Hey 
there! going on? I'm sorry, but there's been an incident inside. You'll have to take an alternate route. Huh? Hey! Hey! came back, but he needed to take a call or something, walked off somewhere. Then Tao got a message too. She went looking for somewhere quiet to try calling back. <laughs> uh, would you mind checking up on my brother? I know he's always looking after me, but I get worried about him too. Thanks. I'll, I'll just wait here in case Tao comes back. All right. So word on the street is a bunch of monsters have been seen hanging around this tunnel. Uh, yo! Sheesh! Ceiling's pretty low. Pretty dark in here, too. Looks dangerous. All right, enough screwing around. Let's go even deeper, yeah? I think we might be onto something big. Hey, what are you doing here? was secreted away in a paradise of his own creation. One day, a serpent sought out the mortals, seeking to tempt them into doing his will. Eat the fruit of knowledge in this paradise, and you will become more like God. The serpent's goal was to revive the war of the myriad gods. 
Oblivious to the serpent's machinations, the mortals of each realm ate the fruit. One after another, without fail. The knowledge they devoured then bound to their souls, birthing humans closer to gods. When the god of law saw this, he banished all humanity from his paradise in a fit of rage. Humans, you curious creatures infused with precious knowledge. Know that you are observed by countless demons, waiting for their chance to strike. How can this be? A human walks among us. This is no place for one such as you. I shall grant you sanctuary. Fortunate an angel of Bethel found you. Were it an agent of chaos in my stead, you may not be alive. Remain calm and keep still. You will be safe momentarily. Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand.
the Nahobino make themselves known again after all this time. Knowledge and life have remained separate until now. Perhaps the future is secured. Light or dark, you may chase whatever you please. I shall await you in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. Young man, can you hear me? You and I are now one. We have ascended to become a being known as Anahobino. Our form is based on my own appearance, but your knowledge seems to be the basis of our consciousness. I shall obey your will. Command me in battle, that we may best fight as one. All hostile targets eliminated. This place is what is now called the Netherworld. It seems its demon inhabitants were targeting you. The Netherworld, the place the demons call home. You saw them. They are descendants of the gods of old, known now as demons. This is their world. But do not worry. I, Protofiend Algami, am here to assist you. Together, we have become a being known as a Nahobino. This new body should allow us to fend off the demons. Let us keep this form until we reach a safe location. I'd like you to go here, as it should help us get a better grasp of this world. You seem worn out from that last battle. Perhaps you should gather some Magatsuhi. This world is filled with Magatsuhi. Brimming with spiritual power, it is the source of a demon's strength. The lights you see around us are the crystallized forms of Magatsuhi. What? Young man, can you not see them? Perhaps you aren't accustomed to your new body just yet. Were you able to see them? Yes, those are Magatsuhi crystals. Magatsuhi can give us strength as well. If you see any, don't hesitate to claim it for yourself.
Observe, young man. This land is known as the Netherworld. I've heard that this place was once known as Tokyo. But that time has passed. Now it is the Netherworld, a land dominated by demons. Hmm. I'm afraid I lack the data needed to answer your inquiry right now, young man. All I can remember is that there was a battle here in days past, between gods and demons. Two great forces clashed right here in front of Tokyo Tower. I know this because I was there as well. Despite this, however, the data containing my memory of what followed has been damaged. The only other memory I have is of my mission to protect you. Young man, perhaps we could make our way to Tokyo Tower? If we return to the last location in my memory, I may be able to remember something else. blue pillar of light with my data, I have concluded this is a ley line fount. A ley line fount is a point from which the Earth's energy overflows. As one might surmise, it holds incredible power. Not only can it heal those who touch it, but it can also instantly teleport one to another location. Considering the damage sustained in your previous battle, I recommend you verify its healing capabilities. <laughs> well, you're a peculiar one, aren't you? Really now? You want to know where you are? <laughs> Why, this is the place I call home! As you can plainly see, I'm a bit of a collector of sorts. It's easy living. What with the riffraff out there and me in here? <laughs> Still, a demon like you's a first. One body, sure, but I can sense two spirits within, no doubt about it! <laughs> Pleasure having you. You may call me Gustav. See something you like? It's all yours. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> to Tokyo Tower, are we? And you found little old me while trying to harvest the power of the ley line found, yes? <laughs> then you ought to do yourself a favor and make a purchase. <laughs> I'll sell you what you crave, as long as you've got the marker. Give yourself an edge against the demons, why don't you? Anything else? <laughs> Satisfied your curiosity, have you? Allow me to send you back on your way. Before that, however, I couldn't help but think our meeting like this must be faint. So perhaps you can do me a favor. I'm rather taken with the human knickknacks and relics of your. So I got some pawns to go out and fetch them for me. Mimon, they're called. Trouble is, they're fickle, and even worse, forgetful. Oftentimes they give up the search and do whatever they please. <sighs> Useless. That said, if you happen to run across any, mind sending them back old Gustav's direction? I'll see to it you're rewarded. 
Also, I've taken liberty to connect this place to the Leyline Fount. Feel free to come and go as you fancy. <laughs> Till next time! Oh, yes, of course! Here, allow me to show you the ins and outs of the Leyline Fount. I can use the flow to heal you if you fancy. But I can't do it for free. <laughs> Cough up a little marker, however, I'll set you right his reign. Be good to remember that, eh? There was an unexpected meeting, but we were able to confirm the Found's capabilities. As we make our way to Tokyo Tower, I recommend we look for the Mimon. As we were asked. <laughs> Young man, could that be one of the Mimon we were told about? Located a Mimon. We should report back to Cadaver's Hollow. <laughs> Found a Mimon already, have we? My thanks, friend. I got just the thing to show my appreciation. This is an essence. It contains the power of a demon. Power that only the Chosen can wield. You'll want to make your merry way over to the Leyline Fount in Mita. Someone there will be able to tell you more, I'm sure. A pleasure. Young man, it appears there's a demon up ahead. I have a proposal. It's dangerous to travel the netherworld alone. Therefore, I recommend we recruit some demons to fight on our side. By talking to demons, you can try and persuade them to join your cause. I have a lifestone you can use. See if you can convince the demon to join you.
Well done, young man. If there is a demon you want on your side, then you might try to negotiate with them. Young man, there is a demon up ahead. Allow me to teach you an efficient way to engage the enemy. When confronting demons, the best strategy is to strike them with your blade. In many cases, this will give you the initiative in the battle. On the other hand, if you are attacked, the enemy may very well gain the initiative instead. Observe the enemy's movements and act accordingly to earn an advantage in battle.
Young man. Watch this. Watch this. 